Wow, what a view from up here. The sunrise is gorgeous. Hello guys and girls and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. So, it's day 18. I had to take a day off again to fully finish this building once and for all. And as you can see, the whole tower looks much better from the inside. It's not rotten like it used to be. <laughs> Remember those horizontal beams that were connected to these pillars? Well, I took them down because they didn't have much of a purpose anyway. Now it looks much cleaner because of it. I also upgraded these pillars to reinforce concrete. The whole thing looks so marvelous, doesn't it? The whole tower has got much closer to the final shape I always imagined. Surprisingly, it only took me day and a half to do all of this. Honestly, it wouldn't be possible if I haven't maxed out my minor 69er and sexual Tyrannosaurus perk. I didn't realize that these two perks in combination make you never run out of stamina while mining or cutting down trees and shoveling. Look at this, you regenerate stamina as soon as the animation is over. This basically means that you can swing without stopping as much as your tool durability allows you to. Before we get on with our next mission, we need to take a quick bite first. <laughs> a pack of wolves attacked me last night. Too bad my traps made a quick work out of them. Fortunate for me, now they serve as my meat stew. <laughs> Thank you game for feeding me I guess. God I love the wellness game from this too. Now one of you guys told me that I should make bunch of cornbread because it's very cost efficient food. And I agree, it gives 0.4 wellness and it's very easy to make. Grind some corn, mix it with water and voila, you got yourself a meal. In game or not, I love me some cornbread. Anyway, today is a very special day. It's time we gather what is necessary and paint this whole tower. To do this, we need to make some paint of course. And to make it, we need a chemistry station, which we don't have. I did buy the perk, but we still don't have the materials. Two beakers. I barely found one at this point. At least I have this burning barrel here in my chest. Fortunately for us, yesterday while I was finishing the tower, an airdrop fell right here. And this is the path to the trader. The Great Wall so called. <laughs> I think it's our best bet to go for it if we want to find another beaker. It's good for a start. And we also could pay a visit to the trader again. Maybe we find something cool and overpriced that we can't buy. Oh yeah, I forgot. I told the trader Jimmy I would sell all my pistols to him. So we'll take all the pistols and this hunting rifle. Yep, I'll take it. Uh, two rocket launchers. I'm gonna take one. A flashlight, no. A night vision goggles. Yes, I'll take that. Receiver, headlights, a car lead battery. Seat raw diamond. Yes, I'll take that. Some parts which I need. SMG part, paintbrush, Taza stone axe. The legendary item. This will fetch a nice price. Small stone. What are you doing in my inventory? Ugh, kill me please. I'm tired of running all the time. To be honest, I'm surprised I haven't found the mini bikes for dumb shits book so far. I mean, I read your guys comments all the time about how you found some of the rarest things in trash basically. And here I am level 70 plus still jogging around. So unfair if you ask me. Maybe I need to start loading trash as well. Trash pile. Nope, that only happens to you guys. <laughs> I'm not that lucky. The good thing is it wasn't too far away. It should be around here somewhere. Now where is it? You gotta be kidding me. Really game? Really? Screw those guys who drive that damn airplane. The last time I tried to go down this path, literally, I ended up slipping all the way down. I'm not gonna do that mistake twice. This time I'm gonna burrow my way down. <laughs> Just a little bit closer. Come on. Come on, come on. Alright, I'm good. Search supply crate. Please give me beaker, please. Yes, two beakers. Yes. <laughs> How fortunate is this? Antibiotics, armor leg schematics. Mmm, nice. Read that. AK schematics. Do I have that? I don't think so. Read that. Hmm. I honestly don't know what would happen if we just dig underneath this whole sphere that Trader Settlement is located on. Will the whole settlement just fall down or presumably nothing will happen? 
<laughs> probably nothing will happen. Because it's a traitor. It's a godlike being. Alright, Jimmy, I told you I'll be back with my pistols. Everything's for sale, even to an idiot like you. Ah, <sighs> same old Jimmy. Alright, let's sell you these pistols. And yet again, I forgot. You can't sell the same item more than three times. Fortunately, you Get can disassemble- Get the hell out of my store! It's for real customers! Oh, shut up, man. Like I did the last time, just disassemble all the parts and sell them individually. Now, raw diamonds. Oh, 560. Yep. Secret stash. Let's see what you got. French shotgun um, painting decorations. Speaking of which, we actually need that because we're gonna paint our whole tower. And these are the decorations. I'm gonna buy that. Ammo and weapons. Do you have any shotgun or SMG I can buy for very cheap? You have this shot off shotgun. It's not very cheap. <laughs> oh, there's a shotgun, but it's even bigger price. <laughs> oh man, why can't I buy just one part? Hop seed. 700 tokens for one hop seed. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> just one, because with one, I can reproduce it and make many more. And that's about it. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, man. All right, let's get back home. I'm really eager to make that chemistry station and start producing paint. It's me again, Jimmy. I'm sorry, but I totally forgot to sell you this Staza stone axe. <laughs> You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? Wait a second. I can't sell it. Why don't you want a legendary rare item? Just get the fuck out of here. I've Ugh, I hate you. Wait a second. Is that a stripper? Yes, it is. What is a stripper doing here? There's no strip club in miles. <laughs> Maybe she's going around searching for some love. Too bad. You're not gonna find any in here. And we're back. I did try my luck searching every trash on this path, but in vain. I'm not lucky as you guys. Anyway, we need to make a chemistry station. My special plants are growing up nicely. Soon, I will be making vegetable stews and coffee. Mm, I love me some coffee in the morning. There is something I love more than coffee in the morning. Beer! Yes! And soon enough, I will be making my own beer. Look at this hops. It's growing up nicely. Chemistry station, at last. We need a beaker, a burning barrel, which I should have here somewhere there we go a burning barrel what else do we need we need a cooking pot three of it let's see we need to make cooking pot cooking cooking pot there we go three three enough short iron pipe I got a bunch of it here somewhere and we need wood 40 wood that's not a lot of wood behold chemistry station Dude, I love me some chemistry station. I shall be putting one right here. It's a nice place, I think. <laughs> Look at all these workstations. I love it. Okay, we need to make paint. This plant again. Cotton, golden rod flower, and bottled murky water. Cotton, check. Golden rod, check. And chrysanthemum, check. I'll take one more. Now, all we need is some bottled murky water, which I I think I don't have. <laughs> oh my goodness, I boiled everything. Oh, the mighty water tower. Thank you for giving me this fine water right here. And it looks like it's refilling itself. <laughs> I didn't even know it. Nice. Let's see how many can we make. Eight. Great, but... Oh, I need to put some fuel in it. I totally forgot. There we go. 400 paint. That is nice, but I'm gonna need a lot more. Hmm. Why do I feel like Walter White from the Breaking Bad series? It's like I'm cooking meth here. <laughs> It's just simple paint, and it's done. 
Now, I'm not really sure if that will be enough to cover all this building. Maybe just the outer shell. Painting it with some stone material would just be a waste of paint. It's already made of stone. All natural, baby. Ooh, look at this one. Medicine cabinet. I really like this one. It's like a mirror. I can see some kind of reflections. <sighs> yep, this is the one. I'll transform this whole tower into one big mirror. <laughs> I just forgot about the one thing. I will have to place frames all around the tower until I paint it. <laughs> or I can just fly around in debug mode. That would just beat the purpose. Anyway, I'll do this overnight and you can just sit, watch and relax. See you in a while. Oh, that's it. I'm out of paint. And I ran out of plants to make some anyway. So it will be a while until I regrow them and finish this whole structure. This is what I've done so far. I painted whole outer side and some on the inside. Not much, but you can see I did the pillars with white metal, ramps with bricks, and I started painting inside walls with cabinet color, which is this one. I still have a lot more to paint. In time, my friends, in time. I also found something very interesting while I was painting. I noticed my FPS slowly decreasing, thinking that mirror paint is causing it. But it turns out, just by holding paintbrush in your hands, lowers your FPS by huge amount, like 40, 50. Damn, fun pimps, you should really fix this. Look at this, it's so choppy. And for comparison, <laughs> wow broken there we go some freshly crafted rifle ammo all packed and ready to go on another supply run we need to find that mini backpack man i'm honestly serious when i said i'm tired of running around it's about damn time i make my mini bike the biggest reason i want it is because some of you guys are playing this seed as well and i've seen comments telling me that there is a real skyscraper and another giant building filled with bookcases imagine the loot there dude that is why I want it. It's pretty far away, somewhere around here, I think. Around here. And I most definitely don't want to walk all the way there. Holy crap. Look at that. It's so beautiful. And the reflection of this building. I like it even more now. <laughs> of course, free candy inside. <laughs> anyway. Somewhere around here, I've seen that daycare poopy pants or poopy pants daycare. <laughs> that children school around here somewhere. I think, yep, that is it. I know I can find some bookcases inside. Maybe, maybe I'll find my book there. To be completely honest, I haven't even looted this town that is right next to my base. I mean, I did loot some houses that are really nearby, but that's about it. Well, I'm on my supply run anyway, so we're gonna loot everything. Here it is, Poopy Pants Daycare. And oh my god, look at those colors. They're beautiful! I wish I painted my tower like that, but nah, it would just attract some children. <laughs> Alright, let's get inside. Where's the door? Weird. Oh, hello. There's a lot of sleeping dudes. And I just missed point blank. How did I do that? Good thing I got a bunch of bullets. There we go. Not gonna fool me twice. Oh, fat ladies! Dude, I haven't seen a fat lady in a long while. Do you have any loot for me, hungry lady? Oh, a beer. Screw this guarding hoe. Oh my god. I think I attracted the whole neighborhood. That's good. That's real good. I need the experience anyway. I think there's another one sleeping in this room right here. Yep, there it is. Hello. Come on, give me something. No, please. What is this? Exploding crossbow bolt. Yes. Oh my God, there's a fat lady. Nope. Give me that. Come on. Yes, read it. Now this is gonna come in handy in the Horde Knight. I just need to find a crossbow. Oh. Another gardening hoe. <laughs> Was every fat lady around here a gardener? Come on, why is it so hard? Just one freaking book. 
I'm doomed. All right, the last two bookcases, please. No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh yes, a random ass house with a random ass blueprint. Chainsaw schematics. Now please, just give me that mini bike book. As you can see, it's not that hard. <gasps> what? Oh yes, just in time. Another airdrop. Three days passed. Perfect. And this one also dropped really near the trader. But this time, it's not on some weird spot. It's on this spot right here. <gasps> yes. Yes. Ugh. SMG. I'm fine with that. Um, some ammo. Sniper. Rifle. Barrel. And a rocket launcher barrel. But I don't have any spots. Um, let's grab this. Boots. Yes, I'm gonna take that. Alright. And... Uh, what the hell do I drop? Duct tape. Get away. Alright. I got a bunch of stuff. And I'm really close to the trader again. You know what? I got some stuff to sell. I got a bunch of these schematics. I already learned all of these. So there are duplicates. I'm gonna sell them for a nice price. Whoa. This house has seen some better days. It's all burnt up. But there are still some things to be looted. Medicine cabinet. Uh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh shit! Damn you, woman! You scared the shit out of me. Oh! A new sound! I like it a lot. Oh, crossbow schematics! Combined with those explosive arrows, it's gonna be a party next seven day horde. <laughs> I can't wait. Read that ASAP. Wait a second. I know this structure. This is an underground bunker. Holy crap, what is that? Oh, a roaming horde. <laughs> Never mind. We have a place to explore. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yep, it is. The secret entrance. <laughs> Looks like I woke up a former resident when I banged the door. Nothing inside, of course. And look at this place. I like it already. Hello. Oh, there's a sleeper right there. Shotgun long barrel. Quality of three. It does not matter. We just got another shotgun turret. Taylor's treasure map. Oh, yes. A ragged old treasure map I found with some scribblings on it. Let's see where it is. Show on the map. Oh. Wait a second, it's very close, <laughs> nice, but look at the time, it's 9 o'clock, I definitely won't be looking for a treasure tonight. <laughs> Search the whole town, check. Search the army camp, check. Bug zombie, check. Bunch of random stuff I don't really need, check. Didn't find a book, check. Better luck next time. Oh, hello, my old base. You always call my nerves when I need it. This spotlight actually reminded me of something. I don't have any in my base, but I really need them. I got a bunch of these torches, which <laughs> spawn a bunch of screamers around. But that's about it. It's really dark in here. I should really make some. What? What? How the hell did he get in here? Dude, they spawned underneath my stairs. I should really upgrade the blocks underneath them. They will spawn forever if I don't. Alright, enough of feeling sorry for myself. We didn't get the book. Right, it's not the end of the world. But we did get another shotgun long barrel. Which, in fact, means we just got another shotgun turret. Now, where should I place my second shotgun turret? This place right here and this place right here is reserved for SMG turrets. And I think it's our best bet to place it right here. Ladies and gents, I present to you our second line of defense. Now, there is only one more thing for us to do. Is to make spotlights, of course. Spotlight. What do we need for spotlight? Headlight, electrical parts, duct tape and iron. 
How many can we make? Spotlight. No, Spo Shell. <laughs> Alright. Oh, six of them. That should cover a fair amount of ground. And the last light. Yes, I have enough power. Wow. I can already see the difference. Things are much clearer and the next 7 day horde should be much more enjoyable. I just need to get my cable management in check. <laughs> They're all over the place. And that is it where I'll be ending this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate if you leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to support the channel even further, the Patreon link is in the description. That is all from me. Until next time, peace out.